Yay, I'm so pro. I got the stealth chopper. That's how pro I am. Oh shit, the phone. It's the phone. The phone's ringing. It's the MLG. They want me to be on their team because I can kill people with the KSG and get a stealth wow. chopper. Aren't you just so special? <laughs> Hi, this is Bob Bobson6868, and today I'm bringing you the first video in a very short series called Road to K9. Now, I'm not going to tell you when I'm going to get it. It could be this video, it could be the next one, it could be a couple down the road, but I will tell you it's only going to be a few videos in the series. Now, this isn't like every game of me trying to get K9 unit, but it is like some of the better ones, some of the ones where I came closer. Um, if you're like me, you know, when Black Ops 1... You liked the attack dogs uh, kill streak. I, it was what I would always try to get, and I was always so happy to get that 11 kill streak. And I've mentioned this uh, many times on my channel. But then we all saw the score streak list come out for Black Ops 2, and K9 unit replacing attack dogs was pretty high up there at 1,700 kills. Now, if you're like me and you're like a lot of other people, you saw 1,700 kills and you were like, no, there's no way, it's impossible. I'll never get there, I'll never try. So, for a long time, I really just ran, like, UAV, 100 killer care package, or counter UAV, or spy, yeah, UAV, or just low stuff every once in a while, um, lightning strike, but nothing really very high. I think, like... Between Lightning Strike and whatever the next good one is, there's so many bad ones in there that aren't even worth using. But, um... So, I kind of just would do those for a while, and then just for some reason one day I was like, you know what? I'm getting a VSAT. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll get a VSAT. And, uh, VSAT is 1,200 points. So, if you're not real familiar with the point system, which I assume by now everyone is, you know, in, in let's just say Team Deathmatch, 1,200 points is 12 kills. Now, I'm using uh, Hardline, which will get me my score streaks 20% faster. If you can figure out what the heck that even means, uh, you're, probably, you're probably a lot better at this than me. But 20% uh, faster using Hardline. So I'm using, I'm using Hardline. And uh, so I, I set that VSAT on, and I was like, you know what, I think I could do it. So, very first game I get a VSAT. I was like, wow, that was actually quite a bit easier than I thought. Now, from VSAT to K9s is another 500 points. So, next game, I got two VSATs. And I was like, wow, this really isn't that hard. And then the next game, I got three VSATs. And, you know, it just kind of got me to thinking, really, you know, about uh, how points are tallied, how you score points. Now, like I said, if you take the K9 unit, which actually takes... 1700 points and as I stated in team deathmatch you get a hundred points per kill so assuming you get no other score streak points no assists no nothing you're at 17 kills now it, we could boost that a little bit if we go to kill confirmed um, because you get 50 points per kill and a hundred points per confirm so just say every time you kill someone um, you get a confirm so that gives you 150 so 1700 divided by 150 and it's gonna take you 11.3 uh, kills so we'll just say 12 kills so now you've already taken off uh, <laughs> my math is so good five kills and um, so so you know it could be easier I find that uh, kill confirmed on this game is hard and <laughs> It's hard to get confirms, hard to get streaks. Um, so, so what do I think is the best game type? Now, you may disagree, and that's fine. But I actually think domination is the best game type to go for these higher streaks for for an average player like me. Um, of course, you know these guys who are really good at the game, they'll they'll get them on anything. It doesn't really matter. But why do I think domination is the best when you get the least amount of points per kill? When you kill someone in domination, you get 50 points towards your score streak. But, if you capture an enemy flag, that's 200 points. If you capture the neutral B flag, that's 200 points. If you kill somebody while capturing their flag, that's another 200 points. So, if we just say, capture an enemy flag, and while we're on it, we kill two people. That right there is uh, 600 points. So, you know, that would take you six kills... 
or uh, in team deathmatch, or I don't even know, three or four kills and confirms in uh, kill confirm. So you can you can get these points a lot faster. So if you're gonna go for them, I definitely would say try on domination because look right here, 200 points just like that. It's so easy. The tricky part is picking out your score streaks. Uh, I kind of messed with them for a little while. Um, the problem is with the score streaks is they they don't want you building on your score streaks as well as you could in uh, Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Now obviously you couldn't do this at all in Black Ops 1, but th they they know people like that. They know that's how people get the big streaks, and so they've they've allowed you to do this in this game, but at a much reduced rate. So where you get 50 points. Um, for a kill in domination. So if you say use the uh, stealth health, stealth chopper, you only get uh, either 15 or 25 points per kill. You know, it's less points. So I kind of got to thinking, you know, UAVs, you get 10 points per kill assist, you know, which isn't going to get you very far. Say your teammates get six or seven kills. Well, you're only just barely over one kill. You know, same with counter UAV. And, and like lightning strikes or um, hell storms, if you're lucky enough to get like two kills, you know that's the same as just getting one kill. So I I figured early on that you had to just get rid of all the low streaks. They they really aren't going to help you. Now if I'm if I'm trying to get say just to VSAT, then I'll I'll go a little bit lower. I'll get I'll get like uh, a hell storm, <clears throat> uh, stealth chopper, and uh, and then the the VSAT. But if I'm trying to get all the way to K9 unit, then I'm going to set my streaks pretty high. Because chances are you aren't going to go UAV, counter UAV, you know, uh, and then get another 1,100, 1,200 points, whatever you need from there. So, um, what, what did I like? I liked this setup that I got going here, where you use the Stealth Chopper, the VSAT, and then the attack canine dog unit, whatever <laughs> they're going to call it. But, uh, so what I would do is, you know, try really hard to get the points to get the attack child stealth attack. God, they got these names so confusing. And they're so close to names in older games. It's like, no, it's not the attack helicopter. It's the stealth chopper. That is loud as shit. And anybody can just look up and see right where it's at. It's not that stealth, just because it doesn't show up on the mini-map. But, um... So what I'll do is I'll use that and I'll try to, you know, from that with Hardline, usually one or two kills from the, the chopper will get you to your VSAT. And your VSAT kind of has like a two-pronged, uh, you know, uh, use. You, you'll get the assist points, which definitely will help you out. And you will also know where the other team is, hopefully keeping you alive long enough to get the attack canine puppies. Cujos. <laughs> I can't even think of what they're called, but canine unit. Um, so, as you can see, I'm almost to the attack, stealth attack, chopper. Oh my god, I'm sounding like such an idiot right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying really hard to just like get these last couple kills to get me there, because I know then I'll be at the VSAT, and then 1,200 to dogs is 500 without... Uh, hard line. So I only need a couple hundred by the time I get the V-Set. And between the assist points, knowing where they are, I figure for sure I'm going to get it. Oh, I got so lucky right there. I didn't even know the guy was coming. I just turned around and shot him. So I call him the Stealth Chopper. Now, what's one problem with the Stealth Chopper that I've been noticing um, lately is that people um, are shooting down everything pretty much instantly. And I, I get the V-Set there. So I know they're I know they're out here, and I'm like, okay, I can just I, I can get it. Now look at all those points I just got. Points on uh, points on points on points. You know, ten points per assist, uh, fifty points per kill, and I know kind of where they are. And now when I was playing, I looked at the clock. I was like, okay, a minute left, and I did not realize that we had them triple capped. I was like, here it comes, and look how close I am to the K9 unit. I'm so close, so close, but we had them triple capped. <laughs> I almost cried. Uh, I went 24 and 9. I, I mean, I was like one kill away from K9s. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.